All right, Wolf Pack, we are here back with the She Wolves, Catalina and Diessa, and today they are going to make sheet pan fajitas. Can y'all handle that? Yeah. All right, so stay tuned for this episode of Cooking with the Wolf Pack. Hi! Hey, best friends. <laughs> okay, gonna teach you. So we're gonna put the oil in. That is one third a cup of oil. And then we're gonna put this dry stuff, which what is in the bowl? Salt. In the bowl is a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, okay, half teaspoon of cumin, some salt, some pepper, and a pinch of cayenne. Nice. So we've made our own fajita seasoning. Yeah. And mm. now we're shaking it, or mixing it. Like that. Very efficient. <laughs> okay. Now okay. we're going to put the raw stuff in. The raw chicken. Chicken. Is that your English accent? <laughs> yeah. Australian accent? <laughs> okay, you can literally pick up more than one piece at a time. Should we do with it? Uh, put it inside. Inside what? The freezer. I mean, the fridge. The fridge, fridge for right? how long? Like 30, 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Two minutes. Two oh. hours. <laughs> Two hours. Can you it well, I'm mixing it. <laughs> okay. So, we got, oh, there's a lot of seasoning in the corner, so you might want to watch out for that. Then it won't be I don't like think we're going to do what we did. did. Yeah, we're teaching them how to do it. All right, so we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for two hours, and then we will be back with the she wolves to finish up our sheet pan fajitas. We're back. Hey, hey, it's better than ever. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna spray it, but lightly, like that. And we put the peppers. And is it onions? <laughs> Would you like to help me? Okay, so we're putting the peppers and <laughs> onions lovingly on the sheet pan. They could have used their hands, but apparently they want to use the tongs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we're doing the hands. So remember, these are sheet pan fajitas. Sheet pan. And then you're going to... Why? There's still a logo on it. And then, you know, you're just going to like... Mix it around, I guess. Okay. And then now you put the chicken That's on. That's been marinating for two hours. Uh, oh, wait. On to the sheet. You can dump the whole thing. Yeah. Oh. Instead of going one at a time. And then we'll, like, separate it. Yeah. And yeah. then you can use your tongs to kind of spread everything out. Tongs. There we go. Okay, ready? Oh, that's good. So the chicken has been seasoning in our own homemade kind of fajita sauce. Now we want to make sure the chicken is really spread out because you don't want it piled together because it needs to cook. So you really want to... You can use your fingers. Fingers are probably better because you can always wash your hands. Use your fingers. Because pretty much right now Kettling is not doing anything effectively with the chicken. There you go. Spread out. Good. So you want to you want to kind of fluff it all together because you want some of the vegetables to get some of the marinade on. Nice. And then spread it out evenly. This is a this great. This is alone. This is a great. Don't don't have any pieces to be alone. They are a cat. This is a great quick weeknight meal because it's a one pan one sheet pan meal. One thing to clean. All right. So 
Um, it's still what do we do next? Um, we... We're going to put it in the oven, though. We're going to put it in the oven for how long? <laughs> two <laughs> two minutes. minutes. Not two hours or two minutes. Twenty. Twenty minutes, and after ten minutes, you're going to kind of stir it around. So they preheated the oven at 400. <laughs> yeah. We're going to put this in just like that, and after 10 minutes, stir it around, and we will be back in 20 minutes to show you the final product. Uno, dove, straight. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, best friends. Hi. All right, we're back with the She-Wolves, and the chicken fajita sheet pan dinner is ready to go. Let's just recap a little bit. We took strips of chicken with our fajita spices, which had a whole bunch of different things that will be on the recipe card, and we stuck it in the oven for 20 minutes, and now we are ready to eat. But before we do, let's give a big warm welcome to Lila. She's back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Lila. The cooking queen is back. I don't know that she'll taste this. She's not much into spicy stuff, but so this fajita mix is ready to go. You can put it on your tortilla. You can mix it with whatever you want. So let's go ahead and make some tortillas yeah. and then take a bite and tell me what it tastes like. It's a fiesta. Yeah. Um, can you see the camera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Wait, can I just go like that? And Lila's out. Like you can do whatever you want. Put some cheese. There's really no rules in the wolf pack. Wait, really? All right, take a bite. Yes, the oh, yeah, we'll take a bite. Oh, so, so Kathleen is making a mini fajita. <laughs> this is like not going on, but it's fine. He, and it's here's fine. the reason why it's the perfect ratio of chicken. Why did I? That's like no chicken. You gotta get a piece of chicken, Diaz. I on. did. That is a piece of chicken. There. But not at the very end of the tortilla. Okay, like that? Yeah. As long as you get a chicken bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Alright, take a bite. Ready. Nope. You know, it's only like a, you know, 10 minute video. Okay, okay. Okay, one, two, three. Turn on, Sam. Okay, I'm not sure they can talk right now, but I'm, I'm sure what they're experiencing are the, the levels of spices that we put together. It's not a store-bought spice. The chicken is perfectly cooked. Peppers and onions taste like a fajita at a Mexican restaurant, and I think they're really happy about it. <laughs> All right, so how about we say goodbye? Do y'all know how to sign off? Bye, bye.